Brother Jess asked what, what we need from our, our elders. <clears throat> what I've been feeling today is that they've got the playbook. They've seen the marches, they've heard the chants, they can recite the speeches, and they've had 50 years to perfect their response to that, to allow us our marches and our anger and our revolution with no change. Our priorities have to change. We live in a society in which an accusation of gun precedes our execution. We don't even get last words anymore. We wouldn't think of marching in a war zone, but that is what we're in right now. If you want to march, march our kids at East High School in Montbello home from school. Safe. If you want to march, march our kids to 7 Eleven so they can pick up a pack of Skittles and a root beer without getting shot and having their parents worry that's the last time they're going to see them. If you want to march, march our kids up to the Army Surplus store and get a bulletproof vest so they can be protected. I know there are some heroes in this room. Process this how you will. Stay here if you need to. We've got a great thing going. Brother Jeff has a great thing going. Stay here if you need. Stay warm if you need, and then tomorrow, be willing to be a hero. Be willing to have the hard conversation. Be willing to show up. Be willing to be hated, because as we know too well, we will be hated if we speak our truths. We will be despised if we speak our truths, and that can't stop us. And to be honest, I'm not calm either. And as you can tell, I may not be black. That doesn't matter. I think that this, there being no indictment is a sign that there needs to be change. We can't just sit around anymore. Clearly they're not gonna do anything. Clearly we need to step up and we just need to, we need to fight for a change. We can't just wait anymore. We've been waiting forever for an indictment and it just has not happened. So we need to fight for it. It needs to be more than just a dream. It needs to be a goal really disappointed in um, this verdict and it just shows that there does need to be a change and um, I want to be part of that change and I want to do something that matters to show um, that young people's voices do matter and that um, the system that is set in place isn't fair and is used to oppress um, me and other people around me and I don't agree with that and uh, it's gonna, I'm gonna make it my goal to do something about it. We shouldn't be worried. There are people out there that are not alarmed about this and we need to be worried about this. Not just because I'm not black, you know, also because I'm a Latina, I'm a person of color, and my people have been persecuted too. And I'm here to stand with everything, with everybody who's trying to fight the system because not only is it hurting our young black men, my friends, my roommates, but it's also coming from my people. If they finish this city, they're coming to that city, they're coming to this city, and then the next one, and then the next one. We can't let that happen, okay? We've let it happen way too much. Not only with the black folk, but also with my people. I feel it. I feel the pain in the room that you guys are feeling. Because we've been through it. And the reason I'm here is because I sense the, the bigger community that there is in the black community. I want, you, I want my people to watch your community be united and fight against this. I mean, we face young men of color face so much. We get judged by those that don't look like us. We get judged by those that do look like us. And we get threatened by law enforcement because we're acting a certain type of way. It's, this is just more difficult for me because I am 19 years old and um, I can't help but be fearful because I constantly feel like there's, a, uh, there's someone out there ready to hurt me because I am black because I am young, but I can't walk down the street and feel that someone's gonna come after me 
just because of the color of my skin and my age. And I'm tired of seeing us as a young black community being killed over underneath this. Basically, law enforcement was supposed to be protection. How are we being protected when we're being taken away? I can't help but be fearful, and I want to get over that, but just being young and black is considered a threat to an enforcement that's supposed to be our protection against violence when that violence is being inflicted on us from that protection to law enforcement. And so they continue to tell us that we should be peaceful. We allow ourselves to hear that narrative. We should be peaceful. But be peaceful about what? So every day I step out into the street, you tell me that because of the color of my skin, you are afraid of me and you use that as a reason for why you are allowed to gun me down. Well, now I'm afraid of you. And now I have a reason for why I'm going to defend my life to the death. I keep looking down at my phone because family members keep texting me. My entire dad's side of my family is from St. Louis. And my grandmother, just says she hears gunshots outside of her window. She doesn't live in Ferguson. Nope. She lives in Jennings, the next county over, yep. and they're shooting in Jennings. Yeah. So as we're sitting here talking about Ferguson, talking about how we feel, talking about what we're gonna do, realize we have family members affected by this. Individuals who aren't protesting, they're not on the ground right now, and their lives are still in danger. Realizing that bullets don't have any names. If I shoot towards this area, it can go through that wall and hit somebody else depending on the caliber of gun. So I don't have a long soliloquy of words that I need to say. I just need you to pray for my family. Because I'm nervous right now. I'm scared right now. I can't talk about what I'm going to do to protest, what I'm going to do to fight. Because right now, my grandmother, who survived so many other things, yes. is texting me saying there's gunshots outside of her window. Yes. My cousin has a barbershop on Chambers and West First. For those who are from St. Louis, you know, that is the next light over from where the quick trip is at. This is real for me. And this is real for many individuals. So please, as we're talking about protesting, talking about what we're going to do, just keep my family in your prayers. Yeah.